Alan Kessler. I'm the Secretary of the Historical Diving Society Australia Pacific and we're here today on the ocean recovery looking to dive in the old-fashioned hard hat systems or diving bells as you might know them. These systems were used from the 1840s to do all the diving work that was required. Back in those days there was no such thing as recreational diving, it was all for work or navy. So they did things like working on the bottom of ships where they might have to uh, untangle a rope off a prop or clean the bottom or patch a hole, uh, recovering things, salvaging, which could be anything from a drop box to a whole ship that had to be raised off the seafloor, uh, building and working and maintaining things like walls, um, and break walls, all those had to have uh, foundations put in or piles driven in. That all had to be done by the diver wearing this sort of gear. Where it differs from today's uh, modern scuba gear is that <coughs> you don't swim, you actually have heavy boots and you walk along the bottom. You actually wear a lot of weight. Uh, it's approximately 80 kilos, it depends on the system and the brand but approximately 80 kilos or 180 pounds of weight. You put on a lot of lead, and the idea is that that will give you purchase or leverage to do your work. Because as I said, all these people were down there to do work. So if they had to swing a sledgehammer, uh, use a spanner, or push something into place, they needed to be able to get some weight behind themselves and do that work. That's pretty much what it was used for back in the early days. Now today, we're just using it to uh, keep a tradition alive I suppose you would say uh, and it's a bit of a sport and enjoyment so we have people who actually restore this equipment and then of course get it diving and we dive it. Too.